It's time now <laughs> to take a few moments, as we always do uh, at this point, to remember those friends and colleagues who have sadly been taken from us over the past 12 months. As with great films, these great people will always be a part of us. Their work and the memory of what they have created to make us think, make us cheer, make us cry, and make us laugh can never die. Good morning. It's a lovely morning. Good morning. What a wonderful day. We've danced the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have to? Look, sweetheart, I can drink you under any goddamn table you want, so don't worry about me. I gave you the prize years ago, Martha. There isn't an abomination award going that you haven't won. This is big, Peter. This is very big. There's definitely something here. You got it? This reminds me of the time you tried to drill a hole through your head. Remember that? That would have worked if you hadn't stopped me. I don't think it's possible to love someone too much. But I think you can love them in the wrong way. We could have had a lot of fun if you weren't a detective. We still can. So long. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. And now we come to the E.E. E. Rising Star Award, which is given in honour of legendary casting director Mary Selway and is celebrating its 10th year. To present it, its first ever recipient, an actor who has gone on fully to justify the early faith shown in him, turning his fledgling promise into a glittering career. Ladies and gentlemen, currently starring on stage in the ruling class, please welcome the majestic James McAvoy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for that. What an honour to stand out here after applauding away those comrades uh, and to stand here and, and welcome a new fearless bunch of uh, storytellers. These five that are nominated tonight are, uh, <laughs> are quite disconcerting to me, partly because they are incredibly beautiful, they are terrifically talented, and mainly because they're all a lot younger than me. Um, uh, I was lucky enough to win this award 10 years ago. 
And I can tell you firsthand what a beautiful thing it is to have happen to you. And I can speak for all your peers when I say that we cannot wait to see what you do with the next 10 years of your career. Let's have a look at their current work. Goo Goo Mbata Raw. I am not Lady Mary. I am not an unwanted maid. Lady Mary is too old to continue in charge of the house. Take off your pants. Really? Get behind that rack and take off your pants. I want to be one of the greats. Miles Teller. Not exactly my idea of success. I'd rather die drunk, broke at 34 and have people at a dinner table talk about me than live to be rich and sober at 90 and nobody remember who I was. Shailene Woodley. You gave me it forever. Within the numbered days. And for that, I am... I'm eternally grateful. Jack O'Connell. Tell you what I do, one, Gav. You listening? A helicopter, two packs of burn, and some chocolate digestives, please. <laughs> <laughs> Margot Robbie. You duchess me. Do you Just really think yeah. that I don't know what you're up to? You're a father now, Jordan? Yeah. You're a father now. I know. And you're still acting yes. like an infant. Ah! And the Rising Star BAFTA goes to Jack O'Connell. Thank you very much. Um, public vote, so I guess the people have spoken <laughs> in, in, in that sense. Now it's my turn. So. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, look, listen, I, I remember I, I was part of a TV workshop in Nottingham. Uh, that, that's where I cut my teeth, as it were. Uh, taught by a wonderful man, very committed man, Ian Smith. And, um, yeah, please. And, and, and we, we won a BAFTA at, so, at some stage. I'm not sure what the category was, but we had our own BAFTA. Uh, the one we had there was a bit heavier, but that's all right. I remember being that age, uh, looking at this thing, feeling very inspired by it, and now all of a sudden I find myself with my very own version. Speaking of which, are all, are all these spare BAFTAs? Do you know? <laughs> Has anybody cleaned them? I should have bought a bag, Mickey. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a pleasant evening. I'll see you again, we hope. Oh, so lacking in confidence. <laughs> now, still to come, the Academy's fellowship and the awards for film, leading actress, leading actor and director, which, by pure fluke, is our next presentation. This is given in honour of David Lean and to present it the mahusive star of Foxcatcher, a film that featured all in wrestling. Though, as Mae West said, if it's all in, why wrestle? Um, <laughs> our presenter is, thank you, one of the very few Hollywood actors who's furthered his career by having work done to make his nose bigger. And what an incredible performance it was. So good, in fact, that it's the first nose ever to be nominated as Best Newcomer. So please welcome the non-prosthetic, non-enhanced, 100% genuinely brilliant Mr Steve Carell. Thank you. I am here to suck up to the five nominees for Best Director. <laughs> honor. I am here to honor them. 
Who wouldn't want to work with these fantastic human beings? Preferably in the fall, because I like to have, I like to have my summers free. And the nominees are, Alejandro G. Inuritu, Birdman. I don't even know the guy, okay? What's your point? What's my point? Yeah, what's your point? What are you saying? Spit it out. Oh. You're saying what? Oh. What are you saying? You're saying love is absolute. Yes, yes. The kind of love that I'm talking about, it is absolute. The kind of love that I'm talking about, you don't, you don't try to kill people. Richard Linklater, Boyhood. Where the hell are you going? Get your ass upstairs. You're not going anywhere. Stop. Come on. Where the hell do you think you're going? Get upstairs. What the hey. hell? Nobody's going anywhere, Stop god it. damn it. No, Stop. god damn it. Don't touch my kids. All right, take them. Go on. Go on. Don't touch them. Take them. Get well, the take them then. Just take them. Damien Chazelle, Whiplash. One more thing, you can do that. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God. I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. <laughs> Stage right, in order, now. I can still fucking see you, Minnie me James Marsh, The Theory of Everything. Where's Anderson, the Grand Budapest Hotel? Hey, I'm terribly sorry, sir. You must go to me. What, we must? Too sweet. She needs me, and I need you to help me with my bags and so on. Uh, Tant de moi, darling. How fast can you pack? Five minutes. Do it. And bring a bottle of the Pouille Jouvet 26 in an ice bucket with two glasses so we don't have to drink the cat piss they serve in the dining car. Yeah. And the BAFTA is awarded to Richard Linklater. Please welcome Ethan Hawke to collect on behalf of Richard. So I'm not Richard Linkletter, but uh, I've made eight films with him, and uh, even better than that, he's he's my great friend, and I know that there is there may be many people who are equal, but there's no one who in this room here who loves cinema more than Richard Linkletter, and who loves the legacy, past and present, of British cinema than Richard. But like uh, Wes Anderson, he is. Uh, was hijacked at the DGAs and sat there losing and is going to be really, frankly, pissed off that he's not here tonight. <laughs> but um, when I talked to him about if such an event should happen, he said that there was only one thing to do, and, uh, and that is to say thank you to Eller Coltrane and Laura Lilink Letter. This film is built on the backs of these two young people and the unbelievable light that comes from them and their generosity, and their creativity, and their playfulness, they went for this. And there was nothing more fun in the world than over 12 years to watch these kids grow up, watch them pass through adolescence, watch their creativity explode. And we know it hasn't been easy. Uh, the easy part was making the movie. The hard part was giving it to the world. And we're so proud, Patricia is, I am, and Richard is, we're so proud, Eller and Lorelai, to walk through this with you. You guys are artists of the first order, and um, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ethan. Now we enter the territory of leading actor. And to enlighten us as to the final destination of the mask, a newly damed dame 
and superlative BAFTA-winning actress who, if there was an award for the very best possible person to present this award, award would surely walk away with it. Please welcome the four best actresses in Britain, Dame Kristin Scott Thomas. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. That was slightly over the top, but uh, thank you. This category honours five of the best actors in the whole world. I know that any leading actress would walk barefoot over broken glass to work with them. Why they would make such a demand is beyond me, but I suppose when you're that good, you lay down the rules. So let's have a look at them. Eddie Redmayne, The Theory of Everything. So what next? The clue was a single equation that time had a beginning. Wouldn't that be nice, Professor? Michael Keaton, Birdman. Just a clue. I was trying to see that like a miniature deformed version of myself that just keeps following me around and like hitting me in the balls with a I'm like a tiny little hammer. Benedict Cumberbatch, The Imitation Game. Play. It's a game. A test of sorts. For determining whether something is a machine or a human being. Jake Gyllenhaal, Nightcrawler. I want to be the guy that owns the station, that owns the camera. The business is going well, but in order to go to the next level, I need to stay one step ahead of my competition and take risks. I also need financial support to implement expansion. Would you like another margarita? Ray finds the Grand Budapest Hotel. My problem, my dear Zero, is I beat the living shit out of a sniveling little runt called Pinky Bandinsky, who had the gall to question my virility. Because if there's one thing we've learned from Penny Dreadfuls, it's that when you find yourself in a place like this, you must never be a candy ass. You've got to prove yourself from day one. You've got to win their respect. You should take a long look at his ugly mug this morning. And the BAFTA is awarded to... Eddie Redmayne. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, come to the BAFTAs a year or three ago and I was suffering from a severe bout of food poisoning. And just as Stephen came on to start announcing the awards, I had to bolt through that door there and I proceeded to redecorate the corridor of the Royal Opera House in an incredibly unfortunate fashion. It was one of the worst nights of my life. Um, this is one of the best nights of my life, so thank you so much. Um, I would like to dedicate this wonderful honour to three families. To my own family, um, they, they don't work in this wonderful, magical, bizarre trade that we inhabit, but they have been my bedrock and they have galvanised me and had amazing faith in me even when I lost a wee bit myself. Um, to my professional family, Felicity Jones, you are a wonder. Um, James Marsh, our director, you took such a gargantuan punt on me. Thank you so much for that. Um, Alexandra Reynolds, working title, focus, universal, Lisa, Anthony, and my extraordinary team of agents who've been um, whipping me into shape for the past 13 years. But um, really, this award belongs to one incredible family, and they're here this evening. And I would like to thank them. I would like to thank them for their trust in us, for their generosity and their kindness, um, and for reminding me 
of the great strength that comes from the will to live a full and a passionate life. So to the Hawkings and the Hellier Joneses, thank you. The wonderful Reddy Edmain. We now find ourselves within touching distance of leading actress and to present it to superheroes whose secret identities I'm about to reveal. So any supervillains who are watching, could you look away please now? Welcome Captain America and Superman. It's Chris Evans and Henry Cavill. The five actresses in this category have showcased their range with incredibly brave, nuanced, and compelling performances that are nothing if not honest. Strong, intelligent, flawed, determined, admirable, compassionate, and sometimes a little scary, Rosamond, these women showed us the many facets of the human spirit through their portrayals of these distinctive characters. Let's take a look at the nominees. Felicity Jones, The Theory of Everything. Steve must live. I will see he gets everything he needs. I will have him transferred back to Cambridge. He may not survive the journey. Yes, he will. Amy Adams, Big Eyes. My God, I have kept her a secret for years. He never wants her. You know how hard this has been for me? I don't have any friends. I lied to my own child. Julianne Moore, still Alice. No, oh, it's the same. I have, uh, I have good days, bad days, and on my good days, I can, you know, almost pass for a normal person. But on my bad days, I feel like I can't find myself. Reese Witherspoon, wild. What did you do? I was good, you know? I ruined my marriage, and now I'm ruining the rest of my life. I gotta go back to that store. I'm gonna walk myself back to the woman my mother thought I was. Rosamund Pike, Gone Girl. I've killed for you. Who else can say that? You think you'd be happy with a nice Midwestern girl? No way, baby. I'm Ed. You're delusional. I mean, you're insane. Why would you even want this? Yes, I loved you, and then all we did was resent each other and try to control each other and cause each other pain. That's marriage. <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to Julianne Moore. so much for this. Thank you for including me among these beautiful performances, both British, Felicity, and Rosamond, and American, Reese and Amy. I'm honored to be honored with you tonight. Um, film is a collaborative medium. There's no way to give a performance by yourself, and the thing that I value most about my job is my creative partnership with others. So I want to thank our beautiful cast, Hunter Parrish and Kate Bosworth, my friend Alec Baldwin, the adorable Kristen Stewart, our wonderful cinematographer, Denis Lenoir, um, uh, James Brown, Lex Luckis, Sony Classics, Killer Films, Lionsgate for giving me the month off, um, everybody in the Alzheimer's community who was so incredibly generous with their time and their information and their experience, particularly Jillian, Wendy, and Christopher, who spoke to me so eloquently about their experience at the Curzon just the other night. Um, and mostly our filmmakers, uh, Wash Westmoreland and Richard Glatzer, who made such a beautiful movie about our essential self. And Wash, I know that Leeds is very proud of you. 
Um, and finally, to the five Scottish women who poured love into me, my great aunts, May, Mary, and Sissy, my grandmother, Flora, and my mother, Anne. This is for you. Oh, well done all. We have